Morning, everyone. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. It is just me I am flying solo. The mountain man is off um, training uh, an individual on coyote trapping. So I'm getting ready to go check our trap line, see if we have anything today. So I'm gonna keep the videos going and continue to share with you guys. Uh, hopefully we have some coyotes. It's weird, we got a, a warm front come through. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But as the mountain man says, for those of you that uh, don't enjoy hearing about God or um, listening to Bible verses, just jump ahead. I'm going to read our Bible verse for the day and, and then uh, lift up a prayer and head out onto the line. So here we go. Today's Bible verse is 2 Corinthians 3.17. It is, For the Lord is the Spirit. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is a freedom. This is so incredibly true. Not only a freedom, but an extreme comfort as well. I'm going to share something a little personal today. Um, felt a little nudge to do this. Um, I come from a... Uh, I come from a dysfunctional family of sorts. Um, my family sees no worth in me. And I know there's many others of you out there in similar situations. Um, the world is a broken place and there's a lot of sad things that go on in our world. But I will tell you that my walk with Jesus and my strong relationship with him gives me such a freedom and such a comfort and allows me to be who I am despite other people's thoughts of me. Um, in other words, we are not defined by other people's inability to see our worth. We are defined by Him, our Creator. And to me, that's a really powerful thing. And I, I'm a go-getter and I'm, I'm an overcomer. And I know that there's other people out there that suffer from similar things that don't have my makeup and they struggle. But I'll tell you what, if you can take power in these words and learn to be happy with who you are despite what the world thinks and what other people think and, and just feel loved, feel enveloped as the mountain man would joke and make fun of me for. But anyway, those are my thoughts today. I just wanted to share them with you. There's a lot of hurting people in this world. I just wanted to love on some of you this morning. So I'm going to say a prayer and then I'm going to get out on the line. Papa, I just thank you for this beautiful morning. I thank you for all the things that you bless myself and my family with. I thank you for these beautiful people that are joining us on our trap line and on our videos. And just bless them, love them, help them through whatever it is that they may be going through. I ask that you give the mountain man travel mercies and just be with him and uh, allow their traps and snares to be full there as well as ours here and anyone else that's out there trapping and, and following along. May we have bounty and, and may you bless us. And just thank you for all you do in our lives and thank you for what you're going to do. We love you and ask all this in the holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, I'm going to get on the trap line. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, guys, I'm out here and no Yodis, so nothing to share um, in that regard. And I am not the world of tips like the mountain man is. He's been doing this his whole life. I am, I am new to this, but I do want to share this part of it. Um, being new to it and loving the outdoors the way I do, I highly want to encourage those of you that have been trapping most of your life or are, have been trapping for quite a few years. Uh, if you know people that love the outdoors 
and are interested, specifically interested in trapping, be sure to share your knowledge. This is just an awesome thing to me. I love, I love hunting, I love trapping, I love being in the outdoors, and I'm so thankful to have found someone to share my life with that enjoys the same things I do and is willing to teach me and share what I don't know. So, and, and we took the time to share that with our, with our boy too, with the mountain boy. So, be sure when you have opportunities to share your knowledge that you definitely um, take that opportunity to do so and, and, and share this because there's so many things, especially the things that we utilize in our lifestyle that are becoming lost arts and once things become a lost art it's gone and this is one of those um, traditions I feel needs to be passed on and passed down not just to the kids but to us women too um, you know it's not for every woman it's not for for everyone but um, for those that are interested um, it's it's a fun thing to do it's an amazing thing to be doing and I'm I'm grateful we have the area that we do to uh, explore so anyway those are my thoughts for today thank you for joining me uh, stay tuned uh, we'll have videos that he'll be sharing from his his trip I'm sure and uh, I'll continue to keep you posted on our line so have a fantastic day thanks for joining us and following us and God bless